Welcome everybody to East Tech West 2019. Let me invite onto the stage, please, the chairman of Huawei, Mr. Liang Hua. What is your reaction to these reports? You've been pretty bullish on companies coming from China to the NASDAQ. You were predicting about 40 listings in total. Have you hit that target? We haven't hit that target yet. There's almost 30 that have listed in the U.S. Most of them, thankfully, have chosen to list with NASDAQ, so we're very, very proud of that. Alan Crozier, thank you so much for being with us, CEO and Chairman of Microsoft Greater thank China. You, thank you, there. We have always been very committed to, uh, to China. Technology, you know, is increasingly uh, interconnected or mm -hmm. interconnecting the, the, the countries. We don't, we don't own the globe. We don't own the planet, we share it. The technology is changing everyone's life. The term fintech is a bit annoying to everybody in, in, in the core banking industry. We are, we're always wearing finance and technology. We are the fintech. The technology will help us to uh, lower the cost of surf and make banking uh, affordable uh, to a lot of people. In this path to digitalization, where do you think we are? With regard to AI, blockchain, yeah, big data, uh, we are probably at the beginning. Let's get a state of play right now and where we're at with 5G. Some of the opportunities we estimated will add value about 70 billion. We talk about a lot of different values of 5G and, and the bit of hype around it. Right. Um, but really what 5G about is about is inclusion. I think uh, we are seeing uh, that uh, China is leapfrogging many of the uh, traditional uh, tech sectors. The fourth industrial revolution has really entered the American lexicon this year. We believe the industry 4.0, we are not replacing the workforce. Actually, we are enabling the workforce with the new technologies to help them to do the job more efficiently. The fourth industrial revolution is not about the industry. It's about society, first and foremost. If you would like to approach any of our CNBC people, please do. We're always happy to have a chat with you, and that's all part of the reason for why you're here at CNBC's Invice Only Retreat.